It is pressure cooker time in the Champions League. Four teams are left and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final. Who will make it through to the showpiece event? It's Inter. They face Porto. And the action comes your way next on EA TV Live. And hello from one of the great venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Inter facing Porto. Well, Derek, what a semi-final we should be in store for today. Yes, the hosts are clear favourites to reach the final, but their opponents are dangerous and come here full of confidence, desperate to cause an upset. It has the makings of a very good game. Let's hope we're not disappointed. And a look at the Inter team. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. Underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. Ottavio. Taremi. Mehdi Taremi. Promising attack this. But they dealt with the threat posed. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, you can't really head them any better than that, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Chalhanolu. And just over the bar, really good effort. Ottavio. Now with Uribe. Careless in possession. Martinez. Well, visionary passing. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. An important interception. Mehdi Karami. Can they convert? Could be. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Let's see about the delivery. 
another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Keen to take it short here. Carmo. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Martinez. Oh, breezing past him. Well, on the final analysis, it was good defending. Uribe. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, an example of a counter attack that went nowhere. Eva Nilsson. And he read it superbly. Brozovic. Chalanolu. With a textbook interception. A really sumptuous ball. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And over comes the corner. And they have possession again. David Carmo. Intercepting it intelligently. Mateo Suribe. Eustachio. The ball with Ottavio. Good work to regain possession. Dumfries and a good looking ball and still dangerous that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick better and better each time you see it it's perfect technique lots of movement on the ball and nothing the opposition can do about this apart from don't give free kicks away So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. 
Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Ottavio. Very comfortable when in possession. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. Well, we know how classy a player Lautaro Martinez can be, but not really happening for him on this occasion. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. And no luck keeping possession. Mateo Suribe. And they find a gap in the defence. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. A chance to take in that goal from the free kick once more. Elects to go short. It's still there for him. Giving the ball away. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did. And that's the result. Well, underway once again. Will Inter be able to articulate an appropriate response? Lukaku. Lukaku. Surely! And he's missed it! Good heavens! Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. Good bit of pressing. Mateo Suribe. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Porto have given it away. It's a weighted pass. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Substitution time it is here. Lost by Porto. Matteo Suribe. Mehdi Karami. And space here on the flank. Lukaku! Splendid defending. Pepe and Uribe. Evan Nilsson. Beautifully weighted ball. 
But it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. And a chance to level it, and fine goalkeeping. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Over it comes. Mehdi Karami. And a strong tackle. Well, that pass easy on the eye. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Well, these Inter fans still believe they can get back into this, but they're going to have to throw everything at it now. Time is running out. And scope for them to produce something exciting. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So back underway at 3 1. And this is Brozovic. Return to Correa. An alert piece of defending. And that was a very fine read. Grujic. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And he takes it away. Ottavio. Opportunity here. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. currently in control on the back of a lead in this first game yeah and what a performance it was you can see the confidence in these players the belief has been growing with every game this tie is not over yet but they must know barring a major upset they're just 90 minutes away from the final now and in the final analysis a really positive performance from this man Stuart well I have to say that was impressive not just his goals but his all-round play he was excellent
Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Porto up against Inter. Yes, thanks, Derek. It's advantage to the host today after that first leg. But how do they approach the game? Are they going to try and dominate the match and kill the tie, or do they try and contain their opponents? In my view, it has to be a combination of both, but it will certainly be intriguing. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Inter starting lineup. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. They get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Brozovic. And he did well to cut it out. Otavio. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, tremendous block. And he's in an offside position. Chalanolu. Romelu Lukaku now. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Superbly read and executed. Otavio. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Otavio. Now with Toremi. And Inter doing well to regain possession. Lukaku. That's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku. Perfect tackle. Now attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Mekhi Karami. Well, couldn't keep it.
Will he find the net? Oh, excellent diving stop. Who can they pick out? Struggling to get it away. Chalanolu. And a goal here! They've given themselves a chance, but need one more goal to force extra time. Well, I think everybody knew what was coming, but he hid it so well, didn't he? Nobody could do anything about it. That's a good goal. of goals if you look at the aggregate 3-2 here Sanusi it's a neat move Lukaku and a very good challenge Pepe Evan Nilsson, Matteo Suribe. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Could be dangerous. Martinez! And a goal to level this contest! All even! Well, just watch this again. Lukaku's pass is inch perfect and what a clinical finish this is from Lataro. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. Well, this has been a special tie to view. 3-3 three, three on aggregate. Steven Eustachio. Now with Uribe. Pepe. Eustachio. Well, very effective play in possession. A wonderful intervention. Really good high press. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. It might be. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Very quick thinking there. Dumfries. Barella. Zaidu Sanusi. Pepe. Plenty of options. But timely defending when it mattered. Uribe Eva Nilsson well read to ease the pressure 
And it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. 30 minutes left for play. Alessandro Bastoni. Oh, good vision. Lukaku might do damage. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. And time for the change now. And he's fired over the corner, and the danger's still on. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, far from the ideal pass. Martinez. Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. Twenty minutes to go. Paremi. A good and fair challenge. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. Let's see about the delivery. It might still be problematic. Well, they can bring it out now. Grujic. Ottavio now. Eva Nilsson trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Now potential danger and read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off, but he was spot on with his challenge. Gorzens. Varela, will it be? And denied by the keeper, impressive. Dzeko. And a decent save, full credit. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. He's driven in the corner. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. He takes aim. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. <laughs> And he was in the right place to intercept. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. How can they nudge in front late on here? Oh, 
That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Struggling to get it away. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part in this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Wendell. A really sumptuous ball. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Well, they've decided to make a change. Barella. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Can he find the net? Oh, a goal! And one that can really matter in the quest to make it through. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Seven goals on aggregate. 4 3 is how it stands. Grujic. Now with Uribe. Mehdi Karami. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Dumfries and the pass could do damage well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out first period of extra time completed 15 minutes left and then it's a penalty shootout Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Possession one. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. The attacking options appear plentiful. Options in the middle. A wonderful intervention. Grujic. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Uribe. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. And we will have just one additional minute. And now it is truly final in more ways than one. Inter are going to the final.
Well, there'd be some tired bodies out there. That was a tough couple of games, and of course, extra time as well. But they're through to the final, and I think they deserve to be there. They were so strong in that extra period. What a final it should be.